here. This, this is Jonathan Johnson again today. Today we're going to be creating a distribution share on Windows 7 with uh, Microsoft Windows AIK. So here's a description of what we're doing. After receiving some new computers, you find that they are only able to display a resolution of 800 by 600 with 256 colors when Windows 7 is installed from DVD. After doing some research, you realize that Windows 7 does not include the correct video driver for the new computers. To avoid manually updating the video driver after installation, you decide to create a distribution share that you can place the that you can place the appropriate video drivers in. In this activity, you to activity we will create a distribution share. So we're going to go down to Start menu and click Start. We're going to click All Programs, and we're going to find Microsoft Windows AIK, which is right here. We'll click that, and then we're going to go into a uh, Windows System Image Maker. Well, Windows System Image Manager. We'll click that. It's going to open this up. All right, now we got this open. We're gonna in the in dis in the distribution share pane. We're gonna right click, select a distribution share. So right click that, and then we're gonna click create distribution share. So we're gonna click create, and it's gonna pull up uh, create a distribution share. We're gonna click open to select the uh, C drive. So we're gonna click open. So we selected the C drive now. And so in the distribution pane, we're going to expand the C drive. So we're going to click on this to expand it. OK. Now we got that expanded for the distribution share for um, the sources and folders and drivers and packages. Notice there are three folders listed, as you can see. Packages, out of box drivers, and uh, OEM folders. Um, these folders are used to store device drivers and packages that can be added to the Windows 7 installation. In order to use these, you must, fir you must uh, first copy any device drivers and packages into these folders to make them available. So that's how you create a distribution share. So say you wanted to put like driver for a video or an audio driver, you could put it in distribution share, you'd put it in the, one of the folders, or create a folder, whatever, you, whatever works better for you. We're gonna, so you'd put it in here and then you could just uh, home group it, you could share it if you have a home group or you could distribution share it if everyone has the program on their uh, on the network and they can go in here and everyone can just download it right from the network for the through the program. Um, this is amazing. this is in a in a corporate environment if you need a quick and easy way to deploy workstations so it's uh pretty it's pretty uh, easy once you get used to it. And that's how you create a distribution share in Windows uh, System Image Maker through Windows AIK. Thank you.